Sometimes, you just gotta use your fist to solve your problems. I'm Swagta, and today I'll be counting down the top 10 strongest characters in Bully. Number 10, Omar Romero. Omar is not often seen during townie related missions, but he's still described as Edgar Munson's right hand man, hinting at his tougher side, which is shown when you fight him during busting in part 2. Omar manages to fight back quite well, mainly because of his good blocking, but also because of the larger health bar he has than normally. Number 9, Yuri Karabazov. Niko I mean, uh, Yuri Karabazov isn't really fought against in most missions, but he does prove himself a worthy opponent by being on both the wrestling and football team, as well as through his usage of the pile driver during fights. Yuri is actually rumored to have been taking steroids and will occasionally make hints towards it himself through dialogue. He's also seen arm wrestling with Damon West, hinting that they might be at a similar level of physical strength. Nonetheless, he's never fought fist to fist during any of the missions, but his steroid filled nature lands him right as number 9 on this list. Number 8, Gurney. Unlike most of the other townies, Gurney prefers to fight from a distance by throwing firecrackers. This, however, does not stop him from being one of the most prominent and toughest townies out of the entire clique. He is frequently seen during missions that include the townies and have been speculated by fans to be the third, if not second in command right next to Edgar Munson. Not only does he manage to tackle down Jimmy Hopkins and make a quick escape during the Jimmy's burning, but he's also still hostile during busting in part 2. Regardless of whether or not Rockstar did this intentionally, he still remains as one of the toughest characters in the game, and rightfully so. I regret nothing! Number 7, Darby Harrington. Filthy Democrat! Being a snobby, pampered rich kid doesn't stop Darby Harrington from being one of the toughest bosses in the game. He proves himself to be a worthy opponent in both Dishonorable Fight and Complete Mayhem, where he sports two different levels of difficulty and two different fighting styles. Come on, men! Let's go! Okay, it's war! Hold on! When he's fought during Dishonorable Fight, he performs his unique fighting style with a moderate amount of health. Don't play innocent with us! I tried that when Father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. But during his appearance in Complete Mayhem, he copies off Biff Taylor's fighting style and has more health in the process, showing his true potential as a worthy opponent. Number 6, Damon West. Ow! <laughs> now maybe next time you'll watch where you're going. What'd you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry, Psycho. Did oh. I hit your boyfriend? Damon lands his spot as number 5 on my list because he is not only the linebacker for the Bullworth Bullhorns, but he also makes it clear that he is not to be messed with. Dicks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt All me. Alright, you oh. ass boy. During Free Roam, he's more aggressive than most other jocks. In fact, if Jimmy has below 50% respect from the jocks, the other jocks will be destroyed respectful, but Damon, on the other hand, will attack him on sight, making him the most aggressive out of the bunch. You're dead, Hopkins! Yeah, dead, Hopkins! Why don't you stop repeating everything he says and get on with it? He also shows that during cutscenes, he's more than capable of using his strength to pick up and knock down anyone who crosses his path. Number 5, Biff Taylor. The noble art of boxing, may the best man win. Of course, the best man always wins, me. Biff Taylor is the one and only Bullworth boxing champion, and rightfully so. Come on, afterwards, you can clean my shoes. His unique ability to dodge Jimmy's punches, jump back and forth at a rapid pace during fights thrown in with his abnormally large health bar makes him a tough and difficult opponent in both free roam and during the boxing challenge. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. He even mentions thinking about beating up Johnny Vincent, which, in a fight like that, he'd prove himself to be a very tough opponent. Number 4, Norton Williams. Armed with a sledgehammer and ready for action, Norton Williams smashes his way through the list up to number 4 by being a tough boss for Jimmy to fight during the 10 men's mission. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird. King of the school. Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone. Find him, king. Quit poking me. He's notoriously known for being Johnny's right-hand man, and rightfully so. Being one of the largest greasers isn't enough. He remains one of the toughest characters you can meet in Free Roam as well. Number 3, Edgar Munson. Edgar not only remains to be one of the most mysterious characters out of all leaders, but he also puts up a good fight during the mission showdown at the plant, when he equips himself with a lead pipe and prepares to fight Jimmy Hopkins. You had enough? 
You want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Despite only being fought once, Edgar seemingly isn't just all talk and no bark. He can actually do a decent amount of damage during his boss fight and also manages to beat up Trent, Ethan, and Davis all by himself. To finish, you bunch of bitches! <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> Number 2, Johnny Vincent. Ill-tempered, jealous, and mentally unstable, Johnny lands his place as number 2 out of 10 on this list, mainly because of his aggressive ways with people. Yeah, and everyone is laughing at me. All of you, at me! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. Have you had her? Who are you talking about? I bet you have. Have you had her? What are you doing? Who? Lola! That slut! That slut... I love. No, man! But also because of the difficulty of the fight that he puts up during the end of chapter 3. You treacherous little snake! You get it on with that harlot who I... I love? Oh, I'm gonna destroy you! Leaving Jimmy very vulnerable. You can also imagine the level of difficulty that would have ensued if Pete was not to have appeared in the nick of time to disarm Johnny from his trusty bike and lead pipe. Johnny Vincent not only manages to knock down Jimmy Hopkins, but he also proves that he's quick, agile, and does not mess around when he gets on his bike and arms himself with a lead pipe. Number 1. Russell Northrop Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh man, me Russell! Gary, now I hate you! With his Red Bull haircut and size 17 shoes, Russell crushes his way through competition and lands himself as number one on the list of top 10 toughest characters in the bully. But I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah. He's thrown into the game as the first real boss fight that Jimmy has to confront, but personality-wise, he is a T-rated version of the Hulk. Hey, I'm sorry! Think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey kid, hey kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. If surviving an explosion and being able to break through a giant metal gate by slamming his skull against it does not prove that he's more than capable of taking on any foes and coming out of it with nothing but a little bit of dust on him, then your expectations are way too high. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Thank you all for watching my top 10 list of the toughest characters in Bully Candice Cannabis Edit and Scholarship Edition. Make sure to leave a comment letting me know if you agree or disagree. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. What else is going on? I'm looking forward to reading your theories. Thank you for watching. See you around, moron!